What's up Affordable Armory folks? How y'all doing? Today we're going to be talking about the Smith & Wesson CSX. Brand new gun, just released. I got my hands on one, so here we go. If this is your first time here, click the subscribe button down below so you'll find out when future videos come out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright, so let's unbox this thing. You can see you get the blue cardboard box. Alright, let's open it up. And alright, so here is the bag that the gun is in. Here is the gun itself. Alright, we'll get back to that here in just a second. Alright, so you're gonna get a chamber plug. You're gonna get your standard lock. Alright. And all of your paperwork here. So, congratulations on purchasing a gun, blah, blah, blah. There's your manual, warranty, all that type of stuff. And here is the other magazine. Set that to the side. Here is your spare back strap. And that's about it for the unboxing. So, let's move on to the gun. So, here it is, the Smith & Wesson CSX. All right, I'll remove the magazine. You can see that the gun is unloaded. All right, so that slide forward, and we'll press the trigger to lower the hammer. Now, looking at this gun, as far as the grip, you can see um, I can actually get a pretty decent grip on that. I can almost all the way get my pinky on there. So it really feels pretty good in hand. This is the 12 round magazine and you can see it's got a little sleeve and that is what allows it to sit flush with the gun. And then now you can see I can definitely get a full grip on the gun. I really like that. As far as the ergonomics of the gun, uh, you got your standard M&P texturing here and this back strap is removable and replaceable with another back strap that I showed you a minute ago. Um, I think that's a very interesting feature in a gun like this. Never really been done in a gun like this. And you've got a smooth surface here. This is the metal portion of the gun. So the frame is metal and it's smooth. And then you've got the uh, polymer back strap, the polymer front strap here. And those both have the typical M&P style texturing on it. It's a little rough, not too rough. Um, but it feels good in your hand and then I don't even really notice the smooth portion there. You've got the slide serrations look pretty good. Uh, those tiny little Smith & Wesson logo there and it says CSX. You got a nice slide stop lever here and it is very easy to get my thumb on that. I like that a lot. Same with the safety here. Uh, very easy to push that up and down and then we'll flip it over and you'll see that both of those features are on the left side of the gun as well making this gun truly ambidextrous now the sights on it are metal and they are three dot white sights pretty standard stuff um, the thing about this gun is this trigger i don't know why they chose a pivoting trigger on a gun like this but they did and it's got the little safety dingus in there um, it does feel good putting your finger on there like I'm not bothered by that but let me show you the trigger press so now I'll show you the trigger press all right hammer is cocked put my finger on it press and I'm pressing really hard guys and there it finally broke it takes quite a bit of pressure um, I don't have a trigger pull gauge to tell you but I'd say that's maybe eight or nine pounds i think that's what other people have been measuring too uh, it's kind of heavy for a single action gun like this but um three two one but pretty cool uh, there's never really been a double stack mag single action pistol like this before uh, the sig 938 is a single stack gun the kimber micro is a single stack gun um, the Springfield 911 single stack gun. All of those are very similar in size and features, except for the fact that this is a double stack gun. And this might also be the only one that's ambidextrous. Um, I don't remember if any of those other guns had a safety on both sides of the gun, let alone a slide stop on both sides of the gun. So that's pretty cool. And I'll show you, this is the 10 round magazine. All right, I'll go ahead and insert that in there. And I still can get a pretty solid grip on it. 
I really like that. This thing actually feels pretty good in hand. Now let's go shoot it and see if that heavy trigger pull is going to be a problem or if it's okay. Um, and let's just see how it shoots. All right, here we are with the Smith & Wesson CSX. Um, I'm not going to shoot it a lot, just going to kind of see how it does. I've got the 12 round magazine loaded up and I've got 10 rounds in it. We're going to see how it does. Target is at 7 yards. I liked the feel of how that cycled. Let's see how it shoots. Ooh. Hold that low. And now the 10 round flush fitting magazine. Holy crap, that was awesome. So, I did drop one low. That was in that first group of 10. Um, but, that was on me, and I called it. Y'all heard me say it. Um, I was pushing them left in that first mag, but that second mag, that's all of these rounds right here. I really dialed it in on that second group. I gotta say, uh, this gun shoots really well, and now I kinda want one. Um, this gun's not mine. But I, I gotta say, that's really good. Whew. Um, this is one of the better shooting micro compacts that I've ever shot. And I've shot a lot of them because if you've watched this channel, 365XL, uh, Hellcat, Taurus GX4, I mean, uh, Glock 43X, I've pretty much shot them all. I've owned most of them. And that is. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so some thoughts on this gun. First of all, when they announced this gun, I thought, what the heck? Who was asking for this gun, Smith & Wesson? What are you thinking? Then, once I saw it, I was like, oh, you know what? It's kind of like a double stack Sig 938 or Kimber Micro or gun like that. A little hammer fired gun, but now with a double stack magazine. Kind of cool. Kind of the only thing like it on the market. So okay maybe they saw something that no one else saw and decided to make this gun uh, so anyway as you can see got my hands on one shot it man it feels great in my hands it shot really well and so if you're looking at this gun i think it might make a great carry piece i do have one concern now i did not personally experience this issue um, Riders Range did a video on this gun, and if you go watch his video on it, you'll see. He had an issue where when he inserted a fully loaded magazine uh, with the slide closed, it would not go in all the way. You'd have to give it a really hard smack for it to go in. Um, again, I did not personally experience this issue. However, I did experience this issue recently with a Smith & Wesson shield. So I wonder if that's just a Smith & Wesson thing, because um, that's two different guns, but same problem. Now when I shot this particular gun, um, I loaded with the slide locked to the rear. So again, I did not personally experience that same issue, but I did experience that issue with a different Smith & Wesson firearm. So maybe that's a Smith & Wesson thing. Who knows? Riders Range did report the issue to Smith & Wesson, so we'll see what comes from that. So there you go. Overall, I'm really impressed with this gun. More impressed than I thought I would be. I may even pick one up eventually. Who knows? And then you'll see more of it on the channel. Again, if you like videos like this, please subscribe by clicking that button down below. As always, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. That's where our social media links are. That's where our affiliate links are, so you can save yourself a little bit of money on something you were going to buy anyway. And we've got stuff like merch. We've got hats, t-shirts, and stuff. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.